Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'd like to say Happy Easter to everyone. Um, on March 13th through the 17th, 18th, 19th, I was on vacation. So, since I stayed home, which is really called a staycation, I said, why not make some money while I'm off of work? So, on Monday, uh, March 14th, I picked up somebody from the country club area, dropped them off in uh, Koreatown. Now, the crazy thing about that is, when I received my request, I went to go pick them up, two ladies from Thailand, and I don't know how, I accidentally canceled one of the trips, which was one of the ladies that was together. So then we were trying to request, she was trying to request back me. She wanted to request someone else, so she canceled it. So I wind up just, um, after I took one lady, I just dropped both of them off and then she had to stay around and request another pickup because I don't know how I accidentally pushed the wrong button. Who knows? Then I picked up someone else in Koreatown and dropped them off from the Park La Brea area. I'm not even sure what day that was i mean i know it was on the 14th but i couldn't tell you who it was and what nationality i have no idea then i picked somebody up in the park la area area a guy dropped him off at the hollywood area to his home and he was just telling me he had a good day at work and he was glad to be off and i said wow sounds like me love my job but you know we do need to have time off to ourselves do whatever we like then I picked up someone around Crenshaw and 11th Ave. And the funny thing was that because of my area that I live in, uh, I, don't, I hardly ever see any Caucasian people. And this guy was Caucasian and he was cute. And so uh, we wind up almost making a complete U because in the process I was going to drop him off somewhere in uh, west side of L.A., he got a phone call from the dealership saying his car was ready, so I went and dropped him off not too far away from there. Then, uh, I believe I went back home, got me something to eat. I'm not sure what exactly the deal was. Then I picked up this guy going to a restaurant, <clears throat> and uh, you know what? That wasn't the guy. It was a girl. I picked up a girl who said she appreciates the lift better than uber because lyft treats people better which i noticed they do they don't take out as much money either and we're allowed to get a tip on top of the app at itself so that was pretty um good of her to actually tell us about that and i also picked up this lady um who was going to a bar um somewhere in hollywood but that's just one one page. I have many more, many more, many more pages. So, now you know on St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is a day where there's a lot of people out in the streets drinking, and hopefully they won't be driving. They'll be calling all the Lyft drivers or Uber drivers. So, uh, St. Patrick's Day, I picked up this Asian girl going to Koreatown, then I came back... <laughs> And I dropped off um, a guy, a uh, girl, no, no, no. Okay, I see that was a mistake. I was writing down all kind of stuff. Uh, so then I uh, actually received a request. And once you go over to the location where you're supposed to pick up the person, if they don't come out within like, two to five minutes then you go to their picture kind of thing and you click cancel because there was a no show and it's up to you if you want to charge them or not and if you like say you in santa monica and you come all the way downtown and it's a no show go ahead and charge that five dollars because that's going to be gas that you don't waste it going over to go pick that person up i don't understand why people do that anyway so anyway, so then uh, I drive, I dropped off this guy off in Culver City. Um, so I picked up these four black guys going to Bert, Tom Bergen's on Fairfax. Now, when I go pick him up, I go pick up two guys. They come out. 
So then they're like, where are we going to go somewhere else? So we're going somewhere else to pick up some other girl, some other guys. Now, mind you, I guess they thought that um, they're getting picked up by one of their friends. I was sitting there in the parking lot, double parked in the street for like five minutes because one guy comes out and says, oh, I'm almost done. I'm doing my hair. I'm like, wait a minute, you ain't got no hair. What, what are you trying to do to the hair? So his, the, his friend in the car is like, just hurry up. This is a lift. This is, you know. So I'm waiting. It felt like I was waiting 20 minutes outside. Some people just have no class. But they were like 21 years old. So, hey, maybe they just thought they had money to burn. But, hey, I don't know. So I uh, wind up dropping them off. And it was on the way. So that's why I actually stopped to pick them up. <laughs> And then uh, once they got there, one of them was talking about he had fake ID. I <laughs> said, oh, my God, I'm glad I never had to deal with stuff like that. So then I picked up um, four people, uh, two guys, a girl, and two of the guys were white. Two of the people were black. There was a couple. I picked them up, and I dropped them off somewhere downtown. And when I got downtown, oh my gosh, it was a convention of people. They had closed down Broadway. I was like Fiesta Broadway. They closed it off, I guess, between 9th and Olympic or something like that. And it was just packed. I said, oh no, this is just too much traffic for me. So then I wind up coming towards the closer to my area, which is um, the Oxford Square area. So then, um, as I was driving down Olympic, this car out of nowhere just ran the red light and was coasting like it was his block. Scared the shit out of me because why? He almost hit me. I had to honk and move my car so he wouldn't hit me. So that was my thing saying, you know what? It's time for me to go home. Why? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. There's a lot of drunks out here. They're driving. They're, they don't have Uber and Lyft. They don't have taxis. They don't have friends. They go pick them up. They'd rather take that risk while they're under the influence. I don't get it. Folks, live your life, but live it positively. Stop drinking and driving, and don't text and drive, and don't walk across the street and text. Because if you do, that's a ticket of $250 in Los Angeles. Once again, like my page, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and like everyone else, Share on your social media. All right now, have a good day. Deuces.